Oh, howdy folks, welcome back to Crusader Kings to the Kingdom of Gooj, Googie, something like that. Anyway, we've got an uprising. Can't say I'm a fan of that. We're going to have to go and crush that right away. It's light infantry and archers, that's all it is. Do we want to save money and just get in the... Well, I don't know, we'll still be outnumbered. Let's just raise our own levies and we'll go... We'll go crush him really quick. Should be pretty quick, I think. Let's get everyone on up in here. We'll leave our retinue out of it. Because they're, they're, you know, they're... Whoops. Everyone back. Looks like they're getting crushed over there. Oh, because of the uh, small limit. Yep, we'll just get in there. And it'll be it. Money's bleeding out fast, but this rebellion should be over in a jiffy. Great, we're spending time with the wife. More marital bliss. The more she likes us, the more she spreads them, I suppose. Oh. We're, they're not dead yet. Let's uh, disband the largest half of this army, just so we're not paying out the nose for, for troops. That should help ease the, uh, the tax burden there. Where, where are they going? I don't know. Let's let's just follow them that way. Boy, they're really going the distance, aren't they? Really going the distance. Okay, now they're coming back. We'll get them. Where's our... Leading troops and... Oh, they're all in the... Uh... Ah, that's fine. Why are they... What is going on with the attrition here? Supply limit is 100. That's insane. Wow. Okay. Can we maybe come down here into Kazmira instead? We can just get in there, chop this rebellion up one last time, and that should be it. 100%. They're all dead. Yep. I think we can only... Yeah, there's no banish. He's dead. Lovely. And we're back to... Okay, we've got a number of duchies we can create. I don't think we want any... We don't need any dukes yet. The Kingdom of Kashmir is tempting... But even more tempting is like a holy war. Let's see, religious reconquest. Yeah, I like the look of that. This guy's got a decent amount of troops, though. I don't, I don't know what his retinue looks like. But once ours is trained up, I think we're going to maybe be going for the gold, depending on. Yeah, he's got a lot of bit of truces. I'm, I'm hoping we can wait for this guy to be so busy. Extremely decadent dynasty. Ooh, man, he could be falling apart pretty quick. That would be good for us. But if he gets too tangled up to help his neighbor here, that's when we're going to want to jump in and take a big swath of land. Anyway, my courier, Samo, is offered to travel to the Empire on a mission to bring glory. Oh, but the Emperor dislikes Buddhists. That seems like a bad idea to even remind him that we're a thing. Yeah, let's let's not send him off if... Let's not let the Emperor know that, that we're here. I think we're going to... Let's see, we... We can sow descent. 5% chance that we get discovered. Do you have any vassals that he might not like? That's, um... Foreigner. Yeah, okay. Plot to kill. He's got a five-year-old that could take over if we plot to kill him. What are we looking at for that? 
A couple of takers, but not nearly enough to uh, make that viable. Statecraft seems like a waste of time. Fabricating... We don't need to fabricate claims anymore. We have the valid Cassus Belly. Let's see, he's got one... Let's look at this kid. It says he's got more... Wait a minute, what's going on here? Raining and Kessler Lahur It says he's a duke, but he only owns one spot. Well, alright. I guess we'll do that. Oh, we... Oops, that's Fabricate. Let's get in there and just mess around. Why not? Meanwhile, our retinue is growing up to 750. Well, we knocked up our concubine. I guess we'll take it. I don't care as long as we have a genius. Rumors of the military might of the Indian Empire is proving to be a forceful diplomatic tool. Yeah, he, they keep, uh, like, enslaving all these cons. We're, we're next on the chopping block, I think, and I don't like the sound of that. That could just bring this campaign straight to ruin. Hey, our wife is pregnant now, too. Looks like that family, uh, the family focus is taking off. Two Pragers. Great, we're working on that marital bliss. I think maybe we'll join this society. Takes a little bit of gold. Good. Looks like we're managing to sow a little bit of distrust. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, now is like the perfect time to strike. Died in battle. He's at war with multiple... He's at war with, with him, so that means he's not going to help, probably, I would assume. We got to do this. We got to do it now. I think the religious reconquest of here is probably best because we have a Buddhist holy site right there. If we lose, what happens? It doesn't, doesn't say what happens. Oh, that was odd. It was, must have been hovered on something else. Okay. When we declare war. Let's see, white piece. If we lose, we lose with our factions. That's fine. We pay out tons of money, lose karma and prestige. Well, if we lose money, that'll suck. But I don't think it'll be the end of the world, and this is this is the time. This is definitely the time. Let's get everyone together. Everyone together. Yes! We got a genius, son! That is... Oh, such good news. Such good news. Let's just go with struggle for now. And we'll we'll do the educating until he gets old enough to where we want to pawn him off to the one who's going to train him up as a brilliant strategist or something like that. Cuz we have good stats all around, our stewardship is awful. But it's just going to have to do. The wife has excellent stewardship though. So, eh, it'll it'll work itself out, I think. Anyway, let's keep let's continue on here. Losing money at a at a pretty fast rate. Okay, we're all together. Let's get in and start conquering. Let's start with uh, the territory that we want. Another son was born. He's weak and quick. 
I guess we'll make him the uh, administ backup administrator type. And can we get out of family focus now? We're just a few months away. Okay, we've got a big brick of troops moving down that way. Let's move some more over here. This could be the opportunity we need. Could definitely be it. Yeah. Let's get some more over there. So far, only fighting one enemy. Let's take a look. We've got, like, nobody in any of these... Split up the armies a little bit here. This is this is just too perfect for us. Capture of an enemy commander, huh? Deliver him to the dungeons. Can we ransom them back? Good. We're gonna need that money to pay for our war. Just tick these clocks down. Oh, this is this is perfect. My lord discovered prisoners held in the dungeons and awaits your orders. Whose kid is this? Maybe I think we might be able to squeeze some money out of this. There we go. Ten more gold, please. Lovely. Lots of victories mounting. Oh, I'm excited. This is what we needed. Let's take everyone prisoner and check it out. Ransom all, 63 gold. Perfect. It's This button doesn't quite seem to work. You have to, like, constantly press it. Yes, yes. Let's take some more people prisoner. More ransoms. Great. Let's pause it here. Yeah, we're not we're not taking peace. Sorry, buddy. Let's get on over here. Wow, I cannot This is what happened. I mean, I really like keeping an eye out for for opportunities to pounce. Oh, our cat's dead. Oh, it's it's the worst thing in the world. Let's go bury him. Poor kitty. He was a good cat. Our father is dead. Screw that guy. I don't think he helped us much. Oh! Uh-oh! Not the best regent either. Oh, how did that happen? We drank ourselves to death. You have got to be kidding. We had tons of health bonuses. Well, one years old. That's going to be trouble. It's going to be trouble for sure. Yeah, the assassins are here. Let's set our crown focus. And we need a new steward. I'd say that that's going to work. Start collecting those taxes again. That could be bad. Nope. We're not going to accept. We're winning. He wants a seat on the council, huh? As what? He doesn't care. Looks like we're full up, buddy. Sorry. I think that's just about it. Yep. Let's go ahead and enforce our demands. Our glorious great holy war against the infidel Shadam of Kabulistan has finally come to an end. Okay. Looks like we have some choices here. This is probably on account of the historical immersion project. Let us tread lightly. Less difficulty in the coming years with re religious rebellions. Less severe and shorter occupation penalties. 
The conquered are more likely to accept ultimatum terms. Since fewer rulers will refuse your ultimatum, fewer titles can be seized directly. Why don't we just take, like, the middle road here? Well, what's this? Since the conquered are more likely to refuse your ultimatum, more titles can be seized directly. I like the sound of that. Proselytization in the conquered territory will be much more rapid for a while. Let's check the uh, religious breakdown here. Ugh, what a mess. Hindu, Sunni, Buddhist, there's all sorts of just random nonsense in here. We gotta... I think we're gonna... We're gonna go whole hog here. Yeah. So, counties to seize, three. Rulers to convert, four. And of multiple rulers will bend the knee. I like that. Okay. All these titles used. Look at all that land we just got. Wow. That's amazing. What's not amazing is this nightmare now. If we, let's see, we're one years old, so we're not going to be able to do anything for, for a long time. So we're going to kind of administrate our realm, and I guess this seems like a pretty good way to get started. Two stewardship, lots of prestige and karma. After 15 years, that'll be exactly when we grow up. Significantly improved vassal opinion and a strong liege levy boost for the pledge's duration. I think it'll be okay if we get attacked, probably. So what, what do we want to pick here? Probably struggle. Our educator is our mother who doesn't seem like the best educator in the world. Let's pick a different one. Can... Well... Okay, I guess, um... That sucks. It's a bit of a drawback. Let's see what we get. This man converted. He'd make a pretty excellent spy master. Looks like he'd be very willing to protect us. Let's keep him in scheme mode too so that no one uh, murders us. And let's go to st statecraft as well. And we're definitely gonna wanna start proselytizing. What are we looking at here? We've got a Buddhist in city. Can we execute this man? He's Buddhist, so there's no reason for him to be locked up. Or can we uh, ransom him? Get some gold out of it? And we'll just release these women just to clear out the prison. Maybe maybe get some bonus points with other people. Okay, let's start handing all this stuff out. Yep. These provinces are okay. They're m largely undeveloped. In fact, all this land seems to be pretty undeveloped. But more land is best land. So I think we're going to go ahead and let's see 11 out of 8. 1, 2, and 3. It's a duchy, right? Okay. Yeah. It's a four province duchy. That's fine. I don't think it's worth moving out there. Well, it might be. That will be probably way down the road. We'll probably just have to 
keep developing, and we'll have to figure out this mess some other day. What's going on here? There we go. That was awkward. We need some administrators to pass on our culture. Banu, let's see, let's give this to, wait, let's do my religion, my culture. Now, now we're safe on that. Let's give him to Ubadanda. What else is there? This guy's pretty decent. Let's give out Banu. And... This guy will work as well. We can give out... Purshpara. Pers something like that. Okay. Well... Let's bring everyone home. We get our ransom. And dismiss the military. Great. I think I might spend more money on our retinue. Like I said, our personal levies are atrocious. Yeah, and the monthly expense at the end of the day is not bad after they get going. How close are we to able to just go after this man again? We have to wait a, like five more years, I think. There's a. You can't just spam Holy Wars in uh, historical immersion projects. So we're going to be going, going slowly here. Yeah. Boy, I hope they don't kill me, because we would be an amazing ruler. Any good technologies? We can work on legalism. I think we'll just hold on to that for now. Let's look at the minor titles. pick out some commanders while we're kind of just hanging out here. That's not a good commander. There we go. Let's get him in there. Some kind of basic stats. A little bit of usurping going on. That's fine. Morale damage. That'll work. Oh, we could fit one more. Let's get him in there. That'll work for now. How's our council? Everyone really likes us. Okay. Our vassals working on succession laws to undermine us a little bit, maybe? Huh. I guess we'll just say so be it. There's nothing we can do about it. Looks like no matter what we pick, it sucks. So, with all this money... Oh, hey, someone just died? Is that what? Died a natural death, and we got all his money. Nice. He owned over here. Uh, we don't need to worry about factions right now. I don't think so. I should have checked. Nah, we're all right. Everyone, everyone seems to like us. Let's get another... Another vassal here. Preferably... 
He's got a little bit of food poisoning, but... How come I can't... Oh, did, did he just die while we clicked the button? Yeah. This is the best man in the realm with diplomacy, so let's land him. Kunlun? Boom. Where is he? In the list. Oh, he's just not a powerful vassal, probably. Well, he already really likes us, so let's just let's just take that guy. Now, who likes us the least? Anyone worth worrying about? These two? Where's he? In Gilgit? Let's go ahead and work on those diplomatic relations there, just to keep things nice and smooth. And I think we're going to go ahead and onboard three more pikemen retinues. Has our castle town technology spread at all? Definitely not. So uh, we'll, we need our war chest. We'll just kind of work on these retinues a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. <laughs> and we're just going to be growing up, I guess. Can we get a better guardian yet? No. We're just totally screwed on the guardian thing. Or do we choose her? No. All right. We're probably just going to get a trash education from our mom. He wants a seat on the council, huh? That's a hell of a learning score. We already have a man within. Uh, no, let's let's tell him off. He he really likes us already. Our mother gave birth to a sister, a bastard sister. Ooh. Mom's getting a little frisky on the side. What's going on over here? Yeah, we got in just in time. How about down here? What are we looking at? This man. Religious or righteous imprisonment. What is he up to? Fabricate evidence of Napo Gunyol's treason. Who's that? Let's just tell him to knock it off. We like both of these guys. We don't need too much shenanigans. This guy is an Ismaili Muslim. Which could ex work for our favor a lot if we go if we go after him in a holy war. Hindu more Hindu. Near my Ismaili rulers might fight him. Wow, okay. He's got 1.42 troops. We have way more than that. Looks like we might be looking at another land grab. Is that what we really want to do right now? The Sultan, I'm not sure if, let's read the tooltip. Holy War, near, yeah, it's Ismaili rulers might ask to join and there are no of those around. We could take another look, he's Sunni. Hindu, um, I mean, these guys are obviously Hindus. Hindus, I think this guy made a mistake making him Ismaili. And he's at war with the Sultan as well. So I think we're going to do this. We have the cash. We'll lose 200 karma, but who cares? We get a ton more land. Oh. 
Oh, we pledged peace. We gotta let that ride out, because if I've had this, if you if we lose this, holy cow. Bad news. So we're just gonna let it ride out. It probably won't take long when we're on this speed, and I guess we could really use the money to um, develop the interior. We're gonna keep an eye on this. I, had, I did not think that we'd be seeing anything other than Sunnis around here. Hmm, maybe we can save up for another city. That would really help. Okay, we're working on good relations with our vassals. The Gompa Monastery will spread technology like crazy. And it does give us more garrison. Special tithe? Great! But I think some of these basics might be exactly what we need, at least in our capital, right? Why don't we get working on a barracks? Arrange marriage. Our mom... Actually, that's a good idea. Let's get rid of mom. Maybe we'll get a different uh, teacher. Someone who's better. Mastermind theologian. Well... Can we still not... At least it's better than, like, flamboyant schemer. We're not able to pass laws because of the prestige and we're uncrowned. And I don't think we can get crowned until we're an adult. There's not a whole lot we can do other than just kind of keep a close eye on things. Our moral authority is looking very nice. And actually speaking of that, well, let's, let's try not to uh, um, pause it as we do this. First of all... We have an uprising. Now let's pause it. He still dislikes Buddhists, so we're just going to ignore ignore them. But we definitely want to proselytize. Buddhist, Buddhist, Hindu, Sunni, Buddhist. Yeah, if we're having uprisings over there, let's get over there and start proselytizing. And I think we're going to raise up our vassals to... Whoops, I forgot to hold control. Well, there goes one army. That's fine. Who cares about those guys anyway? Looks like some of our vassals are getting cozy. What are these? Just light, light troops? Yeah, I know, I know. They're tearing our stuff down. News from China. Rumors of the military might of the Injim Empire is proving to be a forceful... They just keep hitting this guy over and over and over again, but uh, as long as it's not us, although it's probably coming for us, it's going to be devastating when it happens. Yeah, so they conquered over some territory we already conquered. Whoa! Uh, it's looking like it's going downhill there. Let's get that retinue in. That'll take care of it. Yeah, our um, our levies are, are really not the best. They really aren't. We've inherited a county. Is this the one we just gave away? I'm assuming it is. Yeah. Let's go ahead and whoop, wrong button. Who's next? A steward, perhaps. This man seems like he's not bad. Why don't we land him? It's Kunlun, right? Yes. Boom, there it is. We built ourselves a barracks in Sapering. Why don't we throw up a uh, militia training gown? It's nice and cheap. Lots of troops.
It's going to be about time to bring on another another group of levy or a retinue. Let's get over here. Oh, we, we already got the victory and we'll move in over there. Truces are expiring over there. Okay. Well, I kind of really want to get this big old peace pledge boost. Obligated vassal? No, he's into us. We don't need to screw around. Let's keep chasing these guys. What's going on here? Looks like we got him cornered. Formed an alliance? Alright. Uh, our pursuit was pretty bad. But I guess, you know, with the retinue, it's not going to be the best. Yeah. Let's keep paying for that prosperity and get this war over with. Lovely. Another man in jail. And get rid of him. Oops. <laughs> the death sounds of this game are just... <laughs> Crazy nasty. Crazy nasty. 900 pikemen, 600 archers. Why don't we get rowdy? That's kind of what we want, right? Yeah. I wonder if that could have killed us. Now we're ready to usurp a title. I don't know why we suddenly have the option now, but we definitely want to do that. 157 gold? Sure. Nice. Oh, wait a minute. Is this guy going to be agitating for the duchy? Yeah. Hmm. Then again, he really, really likes us. Let's go ahead and make him our first duke. Why is... It's, it's buggy when it does that. And it scares me every time. County of Nandana, Banu, and that. Great. New Spymaster? Definitely not her. Title claimant? Envious? Nope. Hard no. Let's just take this man who is guaranteed not to kill us. And we'll, we'll hold on to that money for now. We need to be at least 16 to join that order. Permit, um, I believe I've convinced Napo to permit a meeting with the entirety of the Prosperity Faction. If you allow it, I will gain their favor on your behalf. Yeah, let's try it. Maybe they'll give us some money. Did not go well. He didn't make anything worse, though. Eh, we lose some prestige, but we're, that's the one thing we actually have. So that's nice. I gotta say, I'm really happy that China hasn't forced us into a tributary yet. Because I don't think we'd be able to fight them off. What's? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Oh, they're going to war? Well, I guess they're working for us. Interesting. We'll keep an eye on that. We might have to do some killing and reorganizing so that our vassal doesn't get too strong. Sap ring is moving along at a good pace. I think upgrading that stables is an easy way to get more men. Yeah, we're lots of numbers. We definitely get that with um, with this faction. We're seven. We're working on it. News from China. The status quo in China is over. Popular uprisings have broken out. Oh, good. And large groups of disgruntled peasants have taken up arms. The penalty in the Silk Yo, speaking of the Silk Road... 
No, we don't have a trade route, but it looks like it's being worked on. Yeah, if, if we end up winning that, or if our duke takes that whole pro um, territory, we're going to really need to regulate, I think. But so far, so good. As I was thinking... Light infantry attack and defense. For the cost, I mean, that's that does make them pretty good. Although they, they always kind of suck. The cavalry are a bit... Ex they're like twice as expensive as these, which are pennies on the dollar. Yeah, let's get that out of here. I'm hesitant to spend money, though. While well, we can keep de uh, developing our domain instead. Just to have, like, a permanent garrison against factions. But then again, retinue is so powerful. Everyone was busy at home, so I snuck out to the commoner's market. When I got there, some children were being mean to a smaller child. No one can know I'm here. Let's get that intrigue. Scoop it up. Nice. Stables has been built. Yes, look at all that extra... extra peoples. Righteous imprisonment. Who's who's messing around? Our courtier is what? Discrediting someone? You know what? If she's just causing trouble, let's just lock her up and uh, get her out of here. 0.5 gold. Every bit is helpful, I guess. Our kinsman died of gonorrhea. Ugh, God. It's awful. I'm tempted to still pick up some more pikemen units. Because we are having a major shortage, and with all these elephants and cavalry and nonsense around us, it seems like that... Ah, another kinsman bites the dust. Commander... Let's get that man. We don't really have the best commanders right now, do we? I guess we'll just put him in there. Point six seven. Monks from a local monastery have approached you, asking for donations. They need to accommodate the rising number of worshippers and still have enough provisions to maintain their other work and studies. Temple vassal opinion. Let's just... Let's be cheap. <laughs> and pick up two more... Come on. Come on, game. There we go. Couple more retinues building up. They're going to be useful in the wars to come. We're almost there. Oh, the money is an issue. We might go for feudal obligations. We'll lose six opinion, but any kind of tax rate is really good. Because right now we're just on zero. Good, we get some gold from one of our factions. Special tithe, very good. Okay, we're working on our relations. Why don't we check out who is worst right now? Looks like we could be working on Emad of Hunza. So let's, let's get up there and make sure we keep things nice and smooth and stable in our tiny little realm. China still hates Buddhists. That's too bad. I'm glad they're busy with unrests. Oh, we need a new court physician. She will do fine. D 
do we want an ambitious court physician? Or one that really likes us and is still pretty awesome? Let's take him. Especially when we're a kid, we have to tread lightly. This guy's a pretty legit commander. Let's get him in there. Yep, we're still just moving along here. Willful. Did we get it? No. All right. Brawny or honest? Hopefully we get Brawny. Oh, we had uh, one of our... Oh, our old general has finally died. That's too bad. And the replacements are not good. Interesting that we can get our kinswoman in as the marshal. Well, it would make her a little bit happier. Keep her busy. But maybe we can sprinkle her with a little bit of cash to, yeah. No, we don't want any non-aggression packs. Ten years old already. Who's out there that we can mix with? Any more geniuses? There's a four-year-old genius. Also a child of a concubine. That's really tempting because the chances of having genius children like permanently in our lineage with this. She's bold paw and everything. Who's tax law of It seems like a pretty good deal. Why don't we why don't we arrange that? We could always take a concubine um, until she grows up. But I think if we play the long game here, this is a really good marriage that could really set us up for for a strong future. With this kind of money, why don't we call a smith and... Oh, we can't call any smiths? We can write a book, though. Oh, that's, that's a bit on the expensive side, if you ask me. Yeah, we'll just save the money. Or maybe we'll invest it into... You're a marshal. She's using soldiers to extort money. Damn it, woman. See, the women... The women in our in our country, they're just awful people. I really don't want to fire her because I mean the damage is done. Yeah, the the council's not going to let us lock her up. Damage is already done, and I don't want to piss off someone with 17 intrigue. Okay, our education is coming along swimmingly. Let's go for Rowdy and Willful. Get that martial focus going. Wow, if we fight back, we become rivals with our half-brother. He's not nearly as cool as we are. And if we fight back, yeah, two martial? Oh, man. I'm liking the way our future is looking. Form the Chosen of Ashoka. We, it's a free 200 prestige. Okay. There's a holy order out there for us, I suppose, right? Yeah. Well, all right. It's kind of cool that they require piety. Never know when we're going to need to call on them. Did this war work out? No, they're at... It was just a truce? Or, no, he got beaten. Well, that's fine. I want to take it for myself anyway. Our half-brother, not the best. Let's put him on that stewardship education anyway. 
Yeah, we're not going to be able to... Yeah, she Isn't she on the council? Of course they're not going to vote for that. How? What's our proselyti proselytizing chance? Five per year. That's pretty decent. I don't think we've made any headway yet. Oh, we get brawny. Yes. So many good things are happening right now. Plus one health. We've got plus one health here. Wow. So far, so good. And we're, we're just bringing in the dough. Maybe we ought to put it in on a special tithe. Oh, oh, oh. The Mountaineer Academy seems a little bit on the expensive side, though. Gompa Monastery, or, or you know what? Why not? Oh, we're we're full on the. Everything we build gives us a little bit more retinue. Maybe we should work on the rest of our. Yeah, let's get a barracks here. And a barracks over here. That'll help. A couple, a lot more heavy infantry is kind of what we need. I don't want to spend too much more. Wow, our income is just floored. 13. We're almost there. Another special tithe. Limited crown law. Let's take a look at our neighbors here. This guy is ripe for for the taking. As soon as we come of age and we get our, our huge bonus for pledging peace, we're going to take vast swaths of land. It's going to be awesome. Inherited the duchy. Ah, oh, he died. No children, huh? Oh wait, no, I thought I thought it was us. That we look we look the same. I think we almost yeah, we look identical. Huh. Alright. Well, he's he seceded. He's ten and his his stats are terrible. But hopefully he turns into something. I guess we're just gonna have to put this man. At least he gave us a bunch of um, extra cash before he went out the door, huh? That was nice of him. Cool. All right. We're getting a little bit there. We're almost there. We got to get crowned right away, and then we're going to start going to war. Lots of war. Unmarried heir. This is our half-brother. I guess we should get him someone. Maybe her? <laughs> Sabotage the other half of the bloodline? She's pretty decent. Maybe another 14 year old. Someone someone his age. Tengri. Baron Pagan Group. Okay. It's a little weird. But that's fine. I wouldn't mind having like ceasefires up north let's take the money I love money our prestige is doing okay and I want to get a all right nice yeah working on that everyone's pretty happy with us and we're gonna turn out really good it's very clear we're gonna turn out really good it comes down, I mean, if we become a mastermind theologian, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. Wow, we've, okay. Let's check our next vassal. This guy. In Scardew, all right, let's deploy over there. Get working on that. Two more barracks. Yep. Giving us a lot of extra troops. We're gonna need them for the time the wars to come. Our retinue is already costing one gold though. Can't say I'm happy about that. 
Castletown is just spreading. It's almost spreading everywhere. If we, when we get Castletown level threes everywhere, our money is gonna go up a lot. She's not allowed to. Uh, I don't know. We're almost, we're almost grown up. Sapring doing pretty good. Level two flourishing. Level the levy reinforcement rate, local tax modifier. I like it. I like all of it. It's almost time. When are we? When are we? The peace pledge. March one o four. Yeah, we're almost there. So far, the Sultan. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's the. He's got kings under him now. Sultan doesn't seem to mind us at all, so we're flying under the radar right now, which is great. We have multiple people ready for prison. What are you doing? He wants to discredit. Let's just tell these people to knock it off. Seriously, though. Come on, guys. They all like us, so let's just tell them all to stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Regency has ended. Wow, we became a brilliant strategist. What is going on right now? Look at these stats. Our stewardship is severely lacking and by comparison, but we are a brilliant, brawny genius. It could it could physically not get better than that, given what we given the tools that we had. I think we'll probably go into business or maybe rulership. We even have light foot leader. Let's go into rulership to just get get as much money out of all this as we can. It's time definitely for the royal coronation. The invitations are out. Let's get crowned. Yeah, sure, you can do it. Okay, we're crowned. Sounds like we're proud. Some jerks are not coming, but that's all right. We'll remember. We've made some friends. Our half-brother is a thrifty clerk. Not the best, buddy. Not the best. Our vassal is lustful. She's going after us. No. Let's try and do the wife thing only for now. I want to make genius babies. That's it. Fulfilled the ambition to pledge peace to the vassals. Amazing. And this guy is what? Discrediting. Just no, knock it off. Play together guys, just play together. And I think we're going to go for win the holy war. It's time to get serious. Look at all these holy cow. I don't think I've ever had a, such a... We're 16 years old. We are a prodigy. And our wife hasn't even married us yet and lent her own significant strength to, to the future of our burgeoning country here. I'm really, I'm really excited for the future, folks. I hope you are, too. So next episode, we're going to go, we're going to take this, we're going to take all that, and then we're going to regulate, maybe come down on top of India here. This is happening a little bit faster than I thought it might. Wow. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next one.